Hey you guys from Germany! Today I'd like to show you how to make something that you definitely will miss once you move from Germany to the USA and that is our Brötchen! Now we'll get started right away because it's relatively easy to make Brötchen, at least the dough is. Um, they're really fluffy, they're crunchy, they are just so much better than any white bread stuff you get in the States. I just have to say that, I'm sorry. Um, and that's why I want to show you how to make them so you have uh, that pleasure as well in the States. So what we have to do is take flour and I have dry yeast here. You can also take fresh yeast, that is fully up to you. Um, and we're going to mix these two first. And if you wonder about the measurements, they're down in my description. I'm afraid the dough hook doesn't mix it good enough, that's why I'm gonna just do it myself real quick. Okay. Now in goes the salt, which we have here. And now you will need lukewarm water, which I'm gonna measure right here. Okay, 151. I needed 150. Perfect. All right. And in goes the water. So once it is this, <laughs> you uh, cover the dough. I just take a regular kitchen towel. And you let it sit, sit <laughs> and you let it sit for 60 minutes so that it can double its size. And then I'll show you what to do. And one hour is up. That is what your dough should look like. What you have to do now is take a scale and I want you to roll a little Brötchen and then you weigh the uh, Brötchen so that they all have the same weight. Um, the German is 80 grams per Brötchen, um, I think. But let me check and then I'll put it down in the description. That should be three ounces. Um, no guarantee here though. Uh, the conversion is always really tough for me because I'm really bad with numbers. So um, I'll start. Um, Mixing the dough again by hand. Make sure that the surface is really even and then I'll tell you what to do next. Um, I reduced the amount of the dough because um, usually the dough is for 10 Brötchen. But what the heck am I going to do with 10 Brötchen? So <laughs> I said I'll just make half. So I should get five but Right now it looks more like four, which is still enough for one person. Now if you live in the States and you are from Germany or you have German family or you visited Germany before, uh, I'd like to know what you miss about Germany. What was uh, that one thing where you said, oh, I'd love to have the exact same thing in the US but I just can't get it? Comment down below. Uh, it'll make it exactly five.
This is how the professionals do it. You see, it looks exactly the way the others do. Last one. Shout out to my Esther who always uh, makes my aprons. So now we have our five fruit and now we need to cover it with a wet towel. Let it sit for another 20 minutes and then we have to cut it and throw it into the oven. Alrighty, 20 minutes are over. Beautiful. All right, now what I need you to do now is you take a sharp knife and you will cut the Brötchen at the top. And now I want you to take a heat proof bowl. You fill it with one cup of water and then you place it down in your oven because the Brötchen will need the steam. So I'm gonna do that, put that into the oven first, then I will wait for five minutes while the oven preheats and then in go the Brötchen. All right, the oven is preheated and the bowl with the water was in there for five minutes. Now in go the Brötchen for 12 to 13 minutes. Insert a toothpick and check if your Brötchen are done baking. And here are our beautifully baked Brötchen. I am really happy with the result even though uh, the shape could be better but you know i'm not a professional baker i'm only a youtube baker so that's fine so let them cool completely and then you can eat them right away of course you can also eat them while they're still hot i just prefer when they're cooled uh, also you can freeze them if you like and then you take them out whenever you want to eat them and you just throw them onto a toaster and that's it so I hope you liked today's video in which I showed you how to make the classic German Brötchen, even though it does not look quite as a normal Brötchen, but it will taste like one. Take a picture of it and post it onto my Instagram or Facebook if you're going to bake it at home. And of course, use, use, the, use the hashtag Lily's Cupcakery so I can see your result and then maybe I can even comment on your picture or give you some feedback or help or whatever. And now don't forget to subscribe. Bye! <laughs>